Grant Norsworthy here with morethemusicmentor.com. We've changed positions for this video to the back of the auditorium, or close to the back, and this is where we find the wonderful David. How are you, David? Doing great. Yeah, so David's the, the sound engineer. Some people might call you what? Well, there's other names, isn't there? Front of uh, house. Front of house, sound guy, he, you. Audio tech. Right. Yeah, all these things. And basically what, what David's doing is, is what? You're at this console, what's it all about? Uh, I'm just taking all the microphones and all the instruments and trying to put them together into a mix that makes sense and, and helps people worship. Right, so there we go. So David is out here in what we call the front of house or in the room. All of us musicians and singers, we're up on the stage and we're actually listening to a monitor system. We actually have very little idea of what we sound like when it meets the, the ears of the congregation. But David does, right? Yeah, hopefully, objectively listening. Yeah. Yeah, good deal. So here's the thing we find often, and I'm sure you'll agree with this, David. Guys like you, sound technicians, often feel totally disregarded by the band. I'm not, I'm, I know this sounds tough and bad, but it's pretty true, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's a sad thing because the only objective ears we have in this whole operation for how we truly sound when it meets the congregation's ears is this guy, the sound technician. We need to be seeing this audio guy as being totally involved with the band, include him in our meetings. If we get together to pray, he's got to be there. But not just the sound guy. If we've got other technicians like the lighting tech or the person changing lyric slides or whatever, we've got to see ourselves as all one big team. But as far as the sound goes, which is your main area, we need to be asking David, can you help us? Like, there's got to be an opportunity for David to speak to us and communicate because he's going to hear things that we've missed. For example, what sort of things, David? Oh, if different players are stepping on each other's toes with parts, if the cymbals are too loud, if the singers are not singing into their microphones, all that stuff happens all the time. Right, and we as a band, especially me as a band leader, I need to metaphorically roll out a red carpet right back here to the console and yeah. say, David, if you hear something that we've missed, please tell us. Because my experience with most audio technicians is they're actually really humble people who will not barge in and give their opinion unless they're asked for it. So uh, we need to have conversations like this from time to time. Musicians like me, band leaders, need to come back to the console and say, hey, David, is there anything we can change to make your job easier, to make our sound better? Yeah, that would help a lot. Right. And you might say something like the guitar's too loud, probably. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos in this series. Please subscribe to the channel. And hey, if you, uh, you want to find out some more information about More Than Music Mentor to arrange your own consultation or even have me visit for an on-site consultation and training, please go to the website and contact us through morethemusicmentor.com.